Hey everybody, it's Mike Free with On Call Compliance Solutions, and I'm here today with the biggest questions that people ask in regards to getting CMMC certified. And the coolest part about that is, is that uh, I'm actually here today, and I want to introduce a very special guest uh, here in the studio with us. So live, we have Cece Bennett uh, with Provinci Government Solutions, uh, who is now a real, live, in the flesh, uh, CMMC certified third party assessor, and so uh, so that's right. You saw it here, right? We got uh, we got CC in the studio, and I uh, caught a big one today, right? Uh, this is actually, I believe, maybe possibly one of the world's first live interviews with a real CMMC certified third party assessor. I believe CC maybe uh, number number twelve in the world. Is that is that about right? So, something close to that, yeah. So uh, so very exciting as CMMC really starts getting kicked off, uh, and certifications are really not very far away at all. Uh, again, a lot of people kind of thought, you know, getting CMMC certified was going to be this sort of fluky thing that just would never, ever happen. But in fact, actually, it is it is uh, beginning to roll out. So in all seriousness, though, uh, we're super psyched to, uh, to welcome you into the studio here. And, uh, you know, we want to learn a little bit more about Provincia. Uh, we want to sure. learn a little bit more about you. And, uh, you know, we've decided to uh, become one of the very first CMMC third party assessors. So uh, tell us a little about yourself, your company. Uh, I know you got a long, long history of assessing, mm -hmm. but uh, tell us a little bit about, uh, about uh, you know, Provincia and what you guys do. Sure, sure. Well, Provincia Government Solutions, we are uh, a firm that's focused on doing assessment work for the uh, individuals and companies in the government space. So uh, a lot of our work is around FISMA, it's around uh, NIST 800-171, the NIST 853 standards. Uh, we've been doing this work for about 15 years now, actually. Wow. Yeah, we have a, a number of uh, highly trained subject matter experts that work on uh, these engagements, and we're super excited to now to add the CMMC uh, requirements to our portfolio of services we can provide to clients. Oh man, that's super awesome. So, uh, in all seriousness, though, um, you know, so now that you are officially a CMMC C3 PO, I have to ask the question. I mean, how into Star Wars are you? You watch your language. <laughs> Well, I, I knew about C3PAO before I entered into this program, <laughs> and I have to say that uh, the Star Wars C3PO is probably a lot more exciting than our C3PAO. <laughs> I bet, I bet. So, uh, so cool. I mean, you can't help yourself, right? So, <laughs> so today what we're going to do is we're going to talk about uh, you know a couple of the biggest questions. The cool thing is you guys, the audience, you guys helped us out. We asked you, hey, look, if you had a CMMC assessor and you asked them anything, you know, what would you ask them? So we came up with a couple questions. Really appreciate everybody's feedback. Always love comments. So again, uh, if you've got questions coming out of this video, please comment below. If you haven't yet, like the video, hit the, su the subscribe button. It really helps us out. Uh, it lets us know we're doing the right thing. And of course, also you can be the first one to stay tuned to uh, new content as it comes out. So, uh, you know, Cece, one of the biggest questions that we're always asked, of course, is how much does it cost to actually bring in a CMMC assessor and get a company certified? So, uh, so what do you think about that? Well, uh, the, the price is, is going to depend upon the size of the environment, really. Um, we wish there was one set, qu set quote amount that we could quote for a CMMC assessment, but uh, honestly, if you have a smaller environment, it shouldn't cost you uh, a ton of money to get your environment assessed, uh, which, is a, a, which is a major misconception about the program. They, the smaller companies think that they can't qualify for, for the program because of cost. But, in reality, uh, it, it is something that should be affordable, and it's something that we're working together to make sure that um, organizations are afford. This is something that can be afforded by organizations to reach that certification level. Yeah, that's awesome. And you know, I've been talking a lot with CC this afternoon as he's kind of visiting our office from home base in Nashville, Tennessee, one of my favorite places on earth. And you know, I was I was talking about CC, and you know, we at On Call we have a micro uh, a micro company solution, right? So if you're like you know, a really, really little business out there and you've got, say, five computers less, no servers, no complexity, and you're like, man, this is like a big, hairy, intense thing that I'm being required to do by law. You know, I know that we're a little bit of a rare bird in the game in that we've come up with a truly affordable, fully comprehensive, done-for-you solution. Uh, it's, again, everybody loves it. Uh, and again, our mission is to help out the small businesses. One of the cool things we're talking about, you know, with CC this afternoon is, hey, look, there are a lot of small businesses I'm not going to kid you, but do a little bit of elbow grabbing. I'm saying, hey, look, Cece, we got to find a way to make this affordable for the small businesses. And the really cool thing I think about this is when it comes to cost, Cece and I have been doing a little bit of information sharing. And in that information sharing, we've been kind of talking about what the process looks like. And I'm psyched because Cece and I really share a vision that the small businesses in the defense industrial base need help too. 
And I'm really proud to say that I think, you know, a little bit of elbow twisting, a little bit of arm grabbing. <laughs> I think the cool part is, is that I think that, you know, CC and his company at Prevention Government Solutions are going to be able to come up with a great solution for the smaller business. Uh, obviously, they do the huge businesses. That's really their background is doing big monster healthcare compliance. They're absolute experts, have an amazing team at that. But I think in terms of cost, that's one area we're really going to be heavily kind of, you know, teaming up together as we help people to understand and get compliant. They help to come in and provide a great cost of cost effective methodology for getting certified. And we're really excited to be partnering with them in that. Uh, so cool. Uh, another great question uh, is, when will I be able to be certified? Uh, I know it's a big one. Yeah, that's a great question. Well, um, as you may know that the, the CMMC program is, is in sort of a, a it's in a, a period of time where they're going through rulemaking. So they're trying to finalize the requirements around the program. Um, and that's expected to finalize sometime next year. But we also know that the CMMC AB is looking at a program that will allow organizations to voluntarily comply with the program. So um, we're hoping to see more on that in the next couple of coming months. Uh, and hopefully there will be some incentive for some of these companies to go ahead and be early adopters of the program. Yeah, absolutely. And, you know, so again, I think, you know, the, the, the sort of, you know, the, the big takeaway is not quite yet, but it's really going to come soon, yeah, really right? Close. You know, I, I think at the point at which we've got assessors now, that's a really big, massive step forward. Look, if you're one of our clients, you know, we've got a whole program built around the idea of taking compliance, using it as a competitive selling advantage, leveraging being a more safe, secure defense contractor to do business with, and literally helping you to grow your business using that as a unique selling proposition. We're super excited about that. I think similarly, we all know, look, the first folks to adopt this are gonna have something really exciting to be able to go and tell their potential client bases and their client bases. So, uh, you know, hey, look, we don't have an exact timeline. We know it's coming soon, but I do think it's gonna be a huge competitive advantage for those companies that are gonna get certified early and, uh, you know, I think the other part about this is, man, if you've got interest in getting certified, you'd like to talk with CC, hit the link in the description, uh, check the bio, uh, come visit our website, submit one of the contact forms. Again, we can get in touch. We can actually hook you up, especially if you're one of our current clients or if you've never worked with us before, that's OK. You want to get hooked up with CC and Provincial Government Solutions. Come talk with us. We can get you on the calendar and things like that. And again, what I will tell you is this. I know when it comes, when as soon as they're able to do the certification, these guys are going to be busy. You're like what number 12 in the world is that it or yeah pretty, pretty close yeah we're pretty close we're right there in that there, there's very few third, third party certified assessment organizations and the ones that are certified we're going to be pretty busy so we're we're, we're, we're going to be happily busy but we want to make sure that of course it, of course we get all the on-call compliant uh, on-call computers clients available and we get them assessed yeah 100 percent. so again that's that's another cool thing so again if you're looking for this stuff uh give us a shout you know give cc a shout again uh, we're going to be taking great care of people. But most importantly, again, understand if you want to be an early adopter, uh, there's just not really very many of these companies. Uh, the waiting list is over a year long. Uh, I can I can personally attest to that. Uh, and, uh, you know, it's, it's a big challenge to really get up there and, and get this thing done. Mm -hmm. uh, cool. So another question that we always get asked is, you know, what's what's going to be the biggest challenge for small to mid sized businesses who are looking at, at you know, uh, looking at getting certified? and trying to figure this out. I know that there's a lot of, you know, scared IT guys out there. There's a lot of, you know, sort of frightened sales directors who are like, oh my God, you know, if, 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 a, if one of these requirements shows up on one of these contracts, I gotta win it. And, you know, like, what's the biggest challenge you see coming down the road as far as people trying to get certified? Yeah, so I think one of the, the biggest challenge, well, the, the biggest challenge is that uh, companies are terrified by the number of controls, 110 controls that they have to comply with, um, but, uh, there are some technical controls that present more of a challenge than others, uh, but I would say one of the, the biggest areas that companies have to be aware of is that uh, even though this new version of CMMC version 2.0 is less process driven than the older version of CMMC, the 1.x version, um, there are still a number of requirements that, that are based around processes. Um, having the correct processes in place and be, being repeatable in how you implement security. Uh, things like configuration management present huge uh, challenges for some smaller companies because they just don't have the folks to be able to support that. So 
Uh, and then things like um, multi-factor authentication is another area where companies- It's a big one. Yeah, it's a big area. <laughs> Everybody should have it, but sometimes smaller companies struggle with implementing that in a way that's gonna be compliant with the requirements. Yeah, and, and you know, I know there was some clarification made a year or two ago, if I'm not mistaken, that yes, if the device is gonna access control on classified information or CUI, you got to have the multi-factor authentication in front of it to access that information. It's just mandatory. Exactly. And it's a smart requirement, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, once you know the password, you're in like Flynn, right? Yeah. So uh, another question we always get asked is, you know, if a, if a company wants to get certified now, you know, what are their options right now for getting certified? Yeah. So their, their options are going to be uh, look into the, the process of you know, going through a readiness assessment. Uh, readiness assessments are going to be very helpful to determine really where they had gaps in their environment. What we don't want to happen is we don't want a company to go through the entire uh, assessment process, get to the end, and then find out that they have something that's going to disqualify them from oh, certification. Yeah. yeah. So, so, uh, so that's the really big thing. While you have the opportunity, while you have the time, while they're finalizing things, use that as an opportunity to go through, do any remediation you need to do in your environment to, to go through the entire certification process at the end successfully go through it in one one sweep it's going to it's going to be less expensive for you as a company but it's also going to provide a, a much easier path to certification yeah and it makes total sense i mean i know for a lot of our clients you know they've gone through gap analyses uh and they've gone through all the sort of the the hoops we have to jump through for dfars but mm -hmm. you know ultimately it makes a lot of sense especially if it's been a few years to have a readiness assessment and to make sure that you're prepared before you go through the actual certification process because Again, during the certification process, they really can't make any any changes, right? I mean, kind of once they start that process, you know, again, we can kind of give them a heads up, but but you as an assessor, you're not allowed to actually, you know, really suggest any fixes, right? You can tell them what's wrong, but you really can't actually suggest fixes, right? Yeah, that's correct. We we can't we can't offer recommendations, um, we can't offer remediation assistance or anything like that. We're we're there to provide the assessment of the organization. Uh, now, if they need to, to have other work done, then they have to go work with their inside of their organization, maybe with a third party to get that done. But yeah, we have to be pretty objective during our assessments. Yeah, yeah, and totally understandable, right? I mean, we got to have a neutral third party assessment. That's the whole point. You know, the good news is, again, you know, on-call compliance solutions provides all of that, uh, you know, in terms of helping companies to prepare, get ready, and things like that. And again, on-call and prevention make a really terrific team in terms of being able to make sure the client is prepared, make sure the company's ready, uh, and then again, when everyone agrees that it's time and that, and that we're going to pass this thing, then we can dive in and really get certified. So a uh, readiness assessment, again, uh, kind of a, a new stage, you know, prior to getting certified and definitely something that we recommend uh, as a necessary next step. Yep. Um, so cool. Another question that we always get asked is, uh, as an assessor, you know, what are you most excited about when it comes, you know, to helping the defense industrial base? I mean, this is a really cool new thing that's going on. Yeah, yeah, that's an excellent question. Uh, we're most excited about having the opportunity to work with some of these small to medium sized businesses, really to level the playing field so that they have the opportunity to uh, to, to go through the assessment process to get the certification, just like any larger company would. Uh, sometimes uh, there's a barrier uh, to entry in some of these certifications where the certification is more expensive than a company can be able to afford. And that may, in some cases, put them in a position where they can't go after certain types of contracts or bids. And, and we, we wanna try, to, we wanna try to reduce that as much as possible and, and give you know, all of these companies that, that same opportunity. Uh, one of the things that we're most passionate about is that um, we have many years of working with large organizations. We have uh, so much experience that we, we would like to utilize and, and use, use that with some of these smaller organizations so that they can take advantage of that. You know, so they don't, you don't have to be a, a multi-million dollar company in order to, to be able to, to take advantage of the CMMC level two certification. We want that to be available to everyone. So that's one of the reasons why we're working with them and working with on-call computers to make sure that we can make that available. Yeah, and you know, I think one of the things that's so cool, you know, I think CCI and I really share a passion for not only helping the underdog to succeed, level that playing field and, uh, you know, really kind of, uh, allow small to mid-sized companies to really grow. You know, uh, again, there's a lot of competition in the marketplace, uh, but again, helping to level that playing field. But then also, and this is one thing I just think is so cool. It's a lot of you know, kind of where we're from is coming from that enterprise environment, coming from that large, you know, uh, sort of well-oiled machine, and being able to see what that looks like, and then being able to carry that knowledge down to the small to mid-sized business that may only have you know anywhere from one employee to say five thousand employees. You know, being able to carry that enterprise knowledge down and make it 
you know, sort of affordable and also uh, really carry through that knowledge of how to truly be secure, really protect, you know, the defense industrial base that keeps our country safe. Uh, I think is a passion that CC and I really share, uh, and I think is, is something that's really kind of brought us together. It's a pretty cool thing. So yeah. Yeah. Uh, I'm, I'm excited. excited. About, yeah, I'm excited about that as well. <laughs> yeah, that's awesome. So cool, CC. Uh, really uh, excited to have you on the show today. And again, uh, if you're if you're new to our channel. Definitely uh, hit that like button, smash that subscribe button so you get the latest content we're putting out here. Again, we're trying to help our defense industrial base keep compliant, and I'm so excited to have you on the show. Excited to be working with you guys uh, as our assessor of choice. And uh, guys, stay tuned for the next episode. We'll see you later.